Welcome citizens. In this video we'll be taking a look at the Origin 300i. We'll be going over the stats of the ship, looking at its standard loadout and giving our thoughts on the ship's uses and possible upgrades. As with all things Star Citizen, keep in mind that specific details of the ship could and probably will change over time as the game's development progresses. The 300i from Origin Jumpworks is a luxury all-purpose craft designed for comfort and forms the base model for the entire Origin 300 ship line. This versatile single seat ship is a direct competitor to the Avenger Titan, comes similarly priced at £52 or $66, placing it within the starter category of ships for pilots with a little more money to invest. Having been reworked for the 3.5 update release, the 300i now sports the same curving exterior and fancy interior stylings of the 600i, albeit on a smaller scale and there is a cargo hold located on the underside of the craft. Internally, the ship features a small living quarters, which is also reminiscent of the 600i crew quarters, including a bed, drinks cabinet, ceiling viewport, and a gun rack. Performance-wise, the 300i is slightly faster than the Avenger Titan, with a normal operating speed of 204 meters per second, and a maximum cruise speed of 1,188 meters per second. The 300i's manoeuvrability is also slightly better with its marginally increased yaw and pitch and a roll rate of nearly double that seen on the Titan. The 300i takes the lead on quantum jumping too, as it features a larger quantum fuel tank of 700 units, allowing it to jump longer distances before refueling. The ship's shields are made up of two size 1 bulwark shield generators, which give the 300i a 7560 hit point shield, and this is in line with most non-military light fighters. The 300i's cargo hold was increased from 2 SCU up to 8 SCU for the 3.5 rework, making it as effective as a starter cargo hauler as the Avenger Titan. Its other major components consist of two size 1 hydrocell coolers, a size 1 roughneck power plant, and a size 1 Expedition Quantum Jump Drive. The 300i comes fitted with two fixed size 3 Shredder Ballistic Repeaters on the wings and one gimbaled size 2 M4A laser cannon on the nose. This loadout can output a reasonable amount of burst DPS considering the ship's intended role and can handle combat missions well without any weapon upgrades. It also comes equipped with four size 2 Strike Force missiles which adds a little extra punch to the 300i's damage output. Weapon upgrades can go in a number of different ways, but all involve swapping out the nose-mounted M4A cannon. If you want to keep it gimbaled, changing the M4A for a Sledge 2 ballistic cannon will give you a decent 100 DPS increase. Alternatively, changing the M4A for a size 2 Sucker Punch Distortion Cannon will strip a target's shields a lot faster. However, if you prefer a full fixed weapon loadout, removing the nose gimbal mount and fitting another size 3 shredder repeater can also be quite effective. If 3 shredders isn't enough bullet storm for you, change all 3 out for a full set of size 3 Mantis G220 Gatling cannons. To increase your survivability, change out the bulwark shield generators for a pair of force wall units to boost your shields up by over 1000 hit points. Also, swapping out the Expedition Quantum Drive for an EOS unit will make your quantum jump slightly faster and increase the ship's quantum fuel efficiency. While some pilots might prefer the older aesthetics of the original model, much like the comparable Avenger Titan, the 300i has almost no negative points to mention. The 300i is a very good multi-purpose vessel that sacrifices some of the Avenger Titan's firepower for increased speed and manoeuvrability. If you are looking for a small multi-role ship and want to travel the verse in something with a little extra prestige, the 300i could be the ship you're looking for. Well we hope this review has been helpful or informative. If you like the vid, click that like button and subscribe for more Star Citizen videos. Also, feel free to tell us your thoughts on this ship in the comments section below. Bye for now.